use the graph of the function f to decide whether the value of the given quantity exists. If, the, if an answer does not exist, enter d and e. So part a, we want to find f of negative 2. That's basically the y value when x is negative 2. So if you look at negative 2, there's a vertical asymptote there. So that definitely is going to be undefined. So this is d and e. Part b wants the limit as x approaches negative 2. So when we approach negative 2, in order to compute this limit, what we'll do is we'll approach from the left and from the right. And if we get the same answer, that's the answer. If we get different answers, it's d and e. So if we approach negative 2 from the left, the graph does actually go down forever. So we would get negative infinity. If we approach negative 2 from the right, we would get uh, infinity. These are different answers. So the result is d and e. So I'll go ahead and type that in, d and e. f of 0, that's part c. So f of 0 is the y value when x is equal to 0. So that would be 5, right? When x is 0, the y value is simply 5. So type in 5. Now we want the limit as x approaches 0. So let's go back up. So as x approaches 0, what is the limit? Let's see. So from the left, it looks like we get uh, maybe 3.5. From the right, it is 5. So these are different numbers. So in this case, it does not exist. So D and E. So D and E. Again, from the left, it was uh, 3.5. From the right, it's 5. These are not the same number, so it does not exist. E, F of 2. So that's the Y value when X is 2. So there's a hole here. So it's also going to be uh, D and E because... Uh, it's not defined, so D and E. So D and E. Now we want the limit as X approaches 2. So let's go back up here. So as X approaches 2, so from the left, from the left, looks like we get 0.5. It looks, about, about, looks like it's about a half. And from the right, it's also 0.5, right? Because the Y value here is 0.5. So as X approaches Two from the left, the y value approaches 0.5. As x approaches two from the right, the y value approaches 0.5. So it's going to be 0.5. F of four. Um, so it's the y value when x is four. Uh, it looks like negative one, right? When x is four, there's actually a y value here, and it's negative one. So I'll put a negative one there. And the limit as x approaches 4. This is where it gets a little bit weird. So if you approach from the left, you get infinity. If you approach from the right, you get infinity. So therefore, the answer is infinity. So in this problem, it says if an answer does not exist, enter D and E. So technically, you know, if you were writing this down on a piece of paper and you wrote infinity, it would be correct. In fact, it would be even more correct uh, than D and E. However, in this answer, um, we have to write down D and E simply because this question is telling us that if an answer does not exist, enter D and E. So infinity does not exist, so we enter D and E. However, if you were just doing calculus, like just like on a piece of paper and this wasn't a homework problem, a better answer here would be infinity. It's a much more descriptive answer. D and E is still technically correct, uh, but infinity is the preferred answer. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.